A long lens waste cutting facility is planned to be created within the decommissioning of Chernobyl nuclear power plant units. The long lens items include elements of reactor installations with the lens from 6 to 22 meters, which were retrieved from the nuclear reactors during the period of operation or to be generated at the final shutdown and preservation stage. The long lens waste cutting facility is designed for cutting of these items, sourcing of received fragments and characterization of packages with radioactive waste. The principal technological process is the following. An item prepared for the processing goes through a scanning unit where activity is measured along the lens to plan the further sorting of received fragments. A refueling machine moves the long lens items. If necessary, the surface of items is dried inside it prior to the processing. The facility will be installed in a central hole's technological shaft. Prior to the cutting, fuel channels and control and protection system channels are placed in a unit for removal of graphite rings and sleeves. The removed graphite parts are arrived inside a metering hopper, and graphite is measured before being loaded into drums. A position mechanism enables to sort the fragments, move drums and racks for leads and hoops in desired position. Then a manipulator puts down leads on the field drums. Graphite chips are collected into a drum by a special device preventing the spread of radioactive substances. The long lens items without graphite rings and sleeves are moved to a cutting station. These items are cut into fragments 200 mm each by shears inside the chamber of the long lens waste cutting facility. Such fragments are weighed in a hopper and sorted by activation levels into corresponding drums. If the cutting process is failed, for example due to deformation, an emergency cutting device will enable to separate a deformed fragment, retrieve a long lens item from the chamber and remove the deformed fragment from the chamber. A loading and unloading mechanism allows loading of empty drums and racks with leads as well as unloading of field drums. The field drums are moved inside a biological shielding system by a central hole crane. The drums with radioactive waste pass through scanning at the final monitoring station, and the results of which a passport is generated for each package. Then the packages are loaded into transfer cask and left the power unit through a transport corridor. A design of the long lens waste cutting facility should envisage the possibility to decontaminate the equipment, visual monitoring, as well as prevention of the spread of radioactive substances.